Hello, welcome. My name is Emily. This is an update in the project. Project it's panning cats and dogs, and it was created by Deb and Danny. I didn't do an update in. Let's see. It was January, and now it's um, March first. <laughs> so I'm late with this update too. But I took a little break, and I'm a little behind. But I don't really care that much because I'm doing what I can and um, that's gonna do so uh, I have some empties this project started in uh, the 22nd of, 2nd of October and goes on for a year so the empties I have since the last update are first we have for Pitbull a product or brand that you like but have a bad reputation or negative reviews and I picked the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe adaptogens and coconut water which is done I was here the last time and it's done I like it um, so I will probably buy it again sometime <laughs> I'll try to get my empty bin right uh, and then we have for Persian Cat, Royalty of Cat Breeds product that makes you feel like royalty. And I picked this Natasha Denona palette, which is kind of dirty. The bronze palette, sorry. <laughs> and my goal with this was, looks like that, was to use it 10 times. And I have and uh, i used it three more times so i only had three more times since the last update i like this palette i think it still um lacks of a light uh, shimmer because the shimmers are kind of similar they are in the mid range or some a few one two maybe are darker so they don't have any light ones which is sad, but you can mix those palettes and put in something you like instead. Uh, then we have for Bichon Frise Hypoallergenic, a clean makeup or skincare product. And I picked the Micellar Water by Garnier, Garnier which is in this bottle uh, that I say because I like it. Uh, but it's done and I'm going to save it again. I used up uh, 35 grams since the last update, so I didn't have much left. Uh, did I say anything about the other things? Let's see, Natasha Denona, that was nothing. The Mario Badescu, I used up 21 grams since the last update. Then we have two more, I think. We have for grooming, a product you use in the bath or shower, and I picked this Possibility Vanilla and Cranberry Frosting shower gel or bath product, I don't know. Uh, I was there the last time and it was easy to finish that. Um, I used up 70 grams. And the last empty. Mm. I have a hair in my mouth. Is for Dalmatian. Use the product 10 times or black and white packaging. And I picked the black and white packaging. I picked the Elixir Cosmeceuticals Neacti. Neacti. 4%. I don't know. But I like this. Um, it was more of a gel cream, which I liked. I got it in a subscription box, so I don't know how to get it, but it was nice. More of a summer product, maybe. So. Then we will start uh, from the top of the list with the products that I have left and I will bring in some new ones and I think I'm bringing in everything. We will see. No, I'm not. I'm bringing in six products and I still have some more to bring in. I'm doing it like I don't uh, do the same prompts as last year I'm doing new ones and I have a few left from last year and I'm doing them and the new ones that I haven't done before so first we have for Poodle a product that make you feel maintenance maintenance 
I always want to say maintenance. Maintenance. Um, or oh, a bougie item in your collection. And, uh, and that is more that, I think. The hiccup. No, that way. <laughs> and lash serum. And uh, I have used it a bit here and there. I used up one and a half grams since the last update. So I guess that's fine. It's hard to see where I am, but that's how they work. Then we have from Catri item with this asymmetrical packaging or uh, stackable products. And I picked the Make the Make. It's just, it's a Swedish brand and it's an under eye primer. And I like this a lot. I really make a uh, see difference when I don't use it. Uh, the concealer sits much better when I use this. And it's looking like this. It's a cord of something and something else. I don't know. But I didn't do a new line because I'm very close to the lower. It goes slow. And I have uh, slanted this very much. So I have to work on the tip a bit. So it's not that harsh in slant this has gone down uh, 0.2 grams and i used it 31 times since the last update and 47 times in total uh, for pomeranian always seem to be smiling a lip product and i picked a lip scrub from barry m which has gone down uh, three grams this one, this is in watermelon, I think. No, peach. Sorry, it looks like that. I like it. Uh, a, a, a German short haired pointer, a product that never ends. It goes on and on and on. It goes and goes and goes. And I picked the Laura Mercier powder, under eye brightening, secret something, it's on something. <laughs> and uh, I don't have that much left, but it will last a long time uh, still. Uh, I used it 31 times, in total 49 times, and it, it went down 0 0.6, no, 5 grams. So that's that. Then we have a scratching post, any nail product. And I uh, brought in this Ciate Geology something. It's a see-through nail thing. <laughs> and I don't like it. So I'm going to take this out. I haven't even used it uh, only two times in for the whole project. But I'm going to bring in this one. The Get Hard from Nails Inc. It came in a subscription box recently. And this seems like a nicer product. So I will try to use this up I'm not gonna do that but I will try so that's going in Siggy mm. dirty dirty something with a sex theme uh, I picked I had a hard time I am always telling you that this is the shea sugar scrub from tree hat the exotic bloom this one and I use this very Sparingly, <laughs> I don't have a big dip. I use it on my feet occasionally, and that's kind of it. I think I will use it more when it's getting warmer outside, but I like it a lot. So I will gladly have it. And in Sweden, they are expensive. Um, next side of the paper here uh, for Sphinx. Uh, favorite skincare product, I picked the CeraVe, 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 uh, foaming cleanser. This was all the <laughs> progress I did. I don't know why. I have no idea. But it's, it's that. <laughs> and I used up uh, 50 grams or something. So I don't know. Uh, for mutt, a product you leave have no a product that you have to mix with something else to use, and I picked a brow fix brow brow no a brow powder from Milani's brow fix brow kit in light, 
and this is the one I use for my brows. The other, I have another product uh, that I don't use for my brows because it's too light. My goal is to use up this side of the product and I'm doing really well. I like this a lot and I'm very happy because uh, this is actually the only brow powder that I have. And I thought, mm, I'm not gonna go back to a pen and the pomades are so hard to get through and I just I'm have I have getting used to use a powder so I uh, looked through my eyeshadows and found a dupe for this it's actually um what are they called Visi art uh, shadow so that's great and it's um you can pull it out of the palette so it's perfect but I have a long way left I have used this um 31 times in total 48 and uh, it went down 0 0.05 grams <laughs> then for ag agility a product that requires practice to use and i picked a um, mascara uh, the it superhero mascara i used up 0.3 grams and I used it 24 times. I don't like this. It's already clumpy and goopy and I'm not sure if you can see but it's like st stuck in the end here so I have a hard time using this. The mascara before, I only used mascara on my lower lash line, lashes, was great. It lasted me a, a year. It was the um, Benefit Roller Lash and this is already uh, clumpy. So I'm not sure how long I will want to use that. Um, then best of breed, tell us about your pet and I told you about Charlie. I did that last year too because he's my lovely little friend. Um, I'm um, helping out uh, his owner and uh, I have him about once a week he's sleeping here uh, so one from one day to another and this week i didn't have him here he's away for the week uh, the week but he's uh, the best uh he's a mini schnauzer if you didn't know a black one and he have some hair problems he gets eczema and um such on the in this on the skin but i picked um for him a hair product uh, from briogeo be gentle be kind i'm down there and this is quite nice but i have too many products like this um to go through so i really want to have that done and for some reason i didn't wait in the first when i brought it in so i don't know what that weighed then Black Cat, black packaging. I picked the NARS Light Reflection Setting Powder, translucent in crystal. And this has gone up uh, four grams, three and a half. I have no idea. I must have weighed it wrongly. <laughs> um, I want to see if you can see. I have a little bit of a dip, like, where is it? Oh, maybe in the middle, like here. You can see it there, I think. Um, this is a powder that you don't see. <laughs> you don't see that you have you put powder on, which I I think it's good in one way, but it's not good in another way because I I feel like I don't put anything on, and I want to feel something. I don't know, but it's it's working, um, and I wanted to try it, and now I have, and I want to hit pan on that one. I think I said. Mm. Boop, boop. Uh, that is a new uh, prompt, a product you use on your nose. I don't use anything on my nose exclusively, so I just picked a product that I use on my whole face, but I use it mostly on my side of my nose, so it works. Uh, it's the Lumine Deeply Purifying Birch Scrub. This is not new. I have used it. I'm maybe up here somewhere, but I have a lot to go. I don't use scrub all over my face, not this physical scrub. I use it here because here I tend to have clogged pores, but I'm still 
dry there and on the side of my nose also and a little bit on my chin uh, but not on my cheeks so much but this goes in and i want to finish that and it's pretty good uh, cat litter something that makes a mess and i picked a loose product from bare minerals uh, this says also id minerals which they it was their name before so this is old but it's not that old in my collection i think i got it as an old one as a freebie from a brand it looks like this it's a blush but i am using it as a blush topper i have had it in projects before and um loose powders makes a mess i think but it's very light so it's more of a topper for me um so i want to get some use of that and i i'm bringing it in for 30 uses the shade is rose radiance catitude uh, a product you wear when you're feeling sassy or feel sassy when you wear it and i picked a gel liner which i hardly ever use uh, but i have a few so why not this is from beauty uk pro gel eyeliner it's a blue one a cobalt blue looks like this i'm hoping that it hasn't dried out it kind of looks like it has a bit uh, i want to use this 20 times i can see if i can do a little swatch it's not dry dry but it's i think it's gonna work looks like that so it's very pretty and special i think i think it's nice to combine a blue liner with a brown look for example like that so that is going in then we have two three more things that goes in harness a product you have to stop yourself from using because you love it so much and this is I don't have much left i'm kind of somewhere down here but i love this product so much so it was very it fit uh, it was very well suited for this project the biotherm biotherm i think it's called <laughs> in french and the body uh, body milk it's called and it smells like oranges or something citrus and i love it and i have another body product that i use now and it's not as good as that one so i might as well use that in between the other one then we have for husky a loud product bold color or loud packaging and i picked a loud packaging i picked this bronzer from Physicians Formula, um, it's the butter bronzer, and it's loud because they have the brush inside, uh, or not a brush, it's a very strange product, and it's a mirror, and then mine is broken, so it doesn't shut, and because this is so bulky and big and loud, <laughs> I can take that out, of course, but uh, it's kind of loud anyway so i took it out the bronzer that was almost new and i broke it of course i did i thought it was looser than it was and so i repressed it and it already have a crack here and maybe there uh, but it's full uh, so i'm gonna attempt to you hit pan on this one we will see it's perfect for now because it's not that even though i look very colorful on my cheeks um, but it's a light one you can build it up but now it's suitable for me at least so we pan on that one uh, I forgot to weigh that that's something I want to do because that is interesting but it's good to have it in my I have a little palette that I have some other products that are not in the original packaging so I like that what happened um so i wanted to wait to repress it but then i couldn't weigh it and it was risky to have it like that so i'm weighing it now and i want to hit pan the last one is for litter box an item you wish you 
your cat would bury in their litter box. And I picked a conditioner. I have a hard time using up conditioners because I don't use that that much. I have other products that I use. And this is the Bedhead TG, TG Fully Loaded Volumizing Conditioner. Um, this one, it's huge. And I'm gonna mark, I think I am here actually. And this isn't that good. I had another one from this brand, uh, a red bottle, and that I love that. But then I wanted to try this, and it doesn't do much. So I will probably use it as a like a hair mask or something. Put it into dry hair and walk around a bit, and then go into the shower. I do that sometimes because I think it's easier. So that's it. Um, and now I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven products to bring in. So I think I will bring in more every month, even though I don't finish anything. I, uh, this one I can finish if I want to. This one I can finish also. Uh, I think I'm going to aim for that, actually. Otherwise, I don't have anything. And maybe this one, because I don't like how it behaves. But that's it. Hope you liked and hope you subscribe if you haven't. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. And by the way, I'm going to throw this away so you won't see it anymore.